Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. A few weeks back I made some content on the All Citizens Boxer Briefs. These are the ones that you've seen on the tint webs, all about that uh, pendulum pouch, uh, paradise pocket penis pouch. Anyway, that, that thing that kind of, well, anyway. A lot of you mentioned the step one boxer briefs so I thought I'd test these out and yeah I like them I mean that's that's the that's the short version of it you could probably stop it here and um, I don't know I'll actually don't stop it here you, you want to you want to see the rest but I thought I'd quickly just go through uh, some similar information that we did on the others so we'll have a look at the materials um, how they actually you know how they feel and then the kind of the the unique selling point with these so as far as the materials go um so it's made from this bamboo viscous material um i've had quite a few t-shirts quite a few uh pairs of socks that are made from this um it's very nice it's very soft against your skin um it does a better job of kind of managing sweat than something like cotton does. It does take a little bit longer to dry. I will say that over cotton. Um, but compared to your, I don't know, a set of five pairs of boxes from Target or Matalan or, you know, Tesco, somewhere like that, then they're definitely nicer than those. The waistband on here is a good waistband. Um, it does sit kind of where I'd expect it. It's maybe just say me a few inches below my belly button. Um, does a very good job of, well, I suppose keeping them up, but also when they're on, if you have a pair of trousers or something like that, and they kind of dig into you. Like me with my athletic dad bod build, sometimes that little muffin top likes to go over the top of my trousers. Does a very good job of protecting that. There is, in the back, through here it's got another one of these extra breathe kind of zones not at any point whilst i've been running with these whilst i've been walking with these have my buttocks gone cheers rand i appreciate that extra little sweat free zone I, <sighs> maybe if you're in a warm country it might help some of the sweat evaporate from between your buttocks um but Heh, it, it, you know, it is what it is. But as far as the materials on these are concerned, they are definitely next level materials and yeah, I like them. Some of the other features on here, so there are, I guess there's two versions of these. You can either get them, well, th there's, there's many versions because there's lots of different colors, but you can get it with a fly or without a fly. Now, I really don't understand the world that we can live in where as a man, you would not need a fly in the front, unless we're going back to like 1920s where you're just like fully opening everything and just like slapping it around and then pulling the front, or, or unless maybe, oh, I suppose, are we all back to doing schoolboy wheeze where we're pulling everything down round our ankles to stand in front of, in front of the what's it? It just doesn't make sense unless, I don't know. Maybe one of these new men that have a vagina and breasts. But for me, I had to get them with the um, with the with, with the fly on there. The fly on these, the uh, all citizens, had that weird up and over thing that didn't work very well with the flow, shall we say. Whereas this, it's a fairly standard kind of through gate, um, you know lefty righty kind of chicane um, and yeah it's fine what they also say is that there is a 3d pouch on here now this isn't the type of thing that you get with your citizens where you have to take Harry and the Hendersons and you know just tuck him into that little uh, cock cocoon passion what whatever they call it. it it's just that they have this if I can get this right they just have this area which apparently is 3D and kind of moves forward. Um, it's supposed to keep um, your wadger in there, but again, I don't know. Compared to the same pair that you'd buy from Tesco, from Asda, from Morrison's, um, I wouldn't say it kept or I wouldn't say it corralled 
little Randy to stay in within a certain zone. He just had a mind of his own and does what he does, you know? That's what little Randy's meant to do. Um, so, it's okay. Now the main selling point of these is this bit here. Oh, let me just grab these for a second. Is this bit here between the gusset. So rather than having a kind of standard gusset, it has this, I think they call it an ultra glide material. It feels like cycling shorts, kind of spandexy kind of material. What I will say is, this wins on so many different levels, okay? So if you're just out for a walk, there's, it, it, again, it, it just, it, that ultra glide that it's called. By the way, um, I, I bought these. Uh, I've not been sent these. I don't have affiliate links. Although, I liked these that much. I have got in touch with them and said, you know, I'd like to be an affiliate. I guess that's kind of spoiling something that will come up because I'm just saying at this point, when this was filmed, I'm not getting paid or to say anything favorably about these. But this ultra glide section in the middle here is just great. So um, going to the gym, whether it's uh, Monday night and I'm doing boxing sparring, whether I'm going for a run, I run two, three times, three or four times a week between five to 10K each run. Um, underneath jeans, when I go into the office, they're great. Underneath tack pants like these, they're great. Everything just, there just seems to be next to no friction there. It actually feel uh, uh, some days there, there was a day when I'd got them on it, it actually just genuinely felt like I wasn't wearing anything like I'd gone full-on native full-on commando for the day I was like no I've definitely got some on I've never like got dressed and gone to work and forgot to put underwear on um, but yes so this this section in the middle here does an exceptionally good job now rather than it just being this little kind of diamond section that runs through the gusset. It actually goes down the full length of the leg. Probably should have got a better colour rather than trying to show you these here. Let's see if I can get these on here. So hopefully you can see, so there's, there's my left leg and it goes all the way through this section. Where your little 3D pouch for your gonads, it does kind of cut into that. Um, I've certainly not found that that's any sort of de to detriment or it's kind of rubbed or anything like that, certainly hasn't. There's been a lot of free movement and testicular gesticulating around there. Um, so yeah. Now, one of the things with these, which might be a sticking point is, so I think the All Citizens boxes, these were 19 pounds. I'm sure these were 19 pounds. I, I, I don't know, for £10 for, say, I don't know, let's, let's say they're £15 and you go to Tesco for £15, you can get five pairs of boxes. Is this five, are these five times better than those? Uh, I just, I just wasn't sure. These are £17, I believe. Are these five times better than your Tesco ones? Again, it's, it's a, it is a hard sell. However, what I would say is, if you're out and you play sports, if you're out and you walk a lot, if you're out and there's, you know, you exercise a lot, having a decent pair of boxers like these, and I suppose these are more of a boxer brief rather than an old fashioned boxer, but having a decent pair of these certainly helps. Also, if you do want to test some of them out, if you go onto the website, they have um, a sale section, and I think you can pick some up for about £12. Now, unfortunately, the only ones that are £12 are the ones without a box, without a fly on them. So, you want to go to the toilet, you're going to have to old school, public school boy pee everything down or undone kind of point Percy at the porcelain and just let him go for it because there's no fly I just I just don't get that but 
I suppose it'll give you an opportunity to test some of these out to see if you like them. Um, I'll leave some links down here. As I mentioned, I'm, I'm not an affiliate with them. Um, so at the time of posting this, these are they're just links so that you can have a look at the website. Would I buy these again? Yes, I would definitely buy these again. Would I buy these over the over? Would I buy the step ones over the all citizens? Yes, most definitely. I think if you want to spend some money on a decent pair of boxes that are going to be as comfortable for you as possible, definitely get the step ones over the all citizens. I think the all citizen that kind of that little pouch thing, it just. It, 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 it really is just a gimmick, whereas the Ultra Glide section on these definitely isn't a gimmick and is definitely worth the money. It's just, like I could say, they're just a little bit more expensive than your everyday boxes that you'd go to a supermarket and pick up instead. So there, there you go. Hope you're all having a good Sunday, by the way. Um, I'll, as I mentioned, I'll leave some links below. I'll leave some links to my social media, whether it's here on Moreland EDC and my sister channel, Moreland Tactical. I didn't turn my phone off. I'm glad that it only just beeped then. Um, so yeah, I'll leave those links below. For now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. Who's messaging me? Dumb. Dom from Max Level EDC was just messaging me. If you've not checked out his channel already, I will always recommend him. He's a sound guy. He makes some great content. So yeah, check out Max Level EDC. And now... Nope. Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now, a few weeks back... Nope. Now here's a little plea to all citizens. No, it's not all citizens, is it? It's step one, you idiot. Now here's a little plea to step one if they are watching this. I think there's a couple of instances that I've seen on your website where you refer to the male anatomy as the junk. Let's please stop using negative terms for our anatomy. It's not junk, it's a beautiful, meat sword that helps to bring other people into the world. It's not junk. Let's stop referring to maleness in negative ways. It's not good for males. It's not good for society. There's my little bit for today. But yeah, take the word junk off your website. It's not, it's not appreciated and it's actually offensive. Um, so yeah. Have a great Sunday, folks. Um, it's peeing it down here, again. I'm trying to see how I can get outside more into an area like this. Uh, I'll try and see what I can kind of jerry-rig. But yeah, there you go. Right, uh, see you soon. Bye.